everyone, I'm Macy. Welcome back to Good Faith Energy. Today, we're answering a seemingly simple question, but one we get all the time. How do solar panels work? We're talking solar, so let's start with the sun. And get this, the amount of solar energy hitting the earth in just one hour is more than enough to power the world for one year. So there's no shortage here. Now, let's look at how each panel is able to take the same light we tan with to power your home. Solar panels are made up of photovoltaic cells. Photovoltaic, that's a big word. But essentially, all it means is the cell's job is to capture sunlight. When sunlight, which is made up of tiny particles of energy called photons, hits these cells, the process begins. So what's going on inside these panels? Well, when a photon from the sun collides with a silicon atom in the solar panel, electrons are free to move through the solar panel's silicon structure, and this creates a flow of electrons, which we know is electricity. But wait, before I get ahead of myself, the electricity generated by solar panels isn't quite right for powering our homes. It's in the form of direct current, or DC. Our homes use an alternating current, or AC. That's where a string inverter or microinverter comes into play. The inverter is a vital component that converts DC electricity from the solar panels into AC electricity, which is what our appliances and devices run on here in the United States. At this point, you have two options, a string inverter or a microinverter. With the string inverter, multiple panels are connected together. So even if one panel is in the shade getting 50% power, the rest of the panels drop down to that same energy, even if they're in full sunlight. Now a microinverter, on the other hand, is on each individual panel. Meaning, if one panel is in the shade and running at 50%, that doesn't necessarily impact the rest of them. If they're in the sun, they can still run at that 100%. If you wanna know more, you can check out a couple products we offer here. The Tesla inverter, which is at the string level, or microinverters, such as the Enphase IQ8 Plus. What happens when your solar panels produce more electricity than your home needs? The excess energy can be sent back to the grid, and in some cases, you may be able to sell your energy back through a buyback program, also known as net metering. Awesome. The next thing to consider is adding a battery backup to the mix, like the Tesla Powerwall, the Franklin WH battery, the home grid, or Savant Power. But that's for another video. So in summary, the beautiful sun beams rays of energy all the way to Earth and onto your roof-mounted or ground-mounted solar system. The energy comes in as DC energy at the panel level and is then converted into AC power at the inverter or string inverter level. Using that AC power, you can run any and all appliances and even charge your car. And there you have it. From capturing sunlight to generating electricity and connecting to the grid, solar panels play a major role in powering your home with clean, renewable energy. Not only are you contributing to a greener planet, but you're also reaping the benefits of low energy costs, even during this extremely hot summer. I hope you learned more as we dove deep into the incredible process of how solar panels generate electricity for your home. And guess what guys, this is our 100th YouTube video. So don't forget to like and subscribe for more enlightening content. And until next time, I'm Macy with Good Faith Energy and I'll catch you next week.